Hey Digital Diamonds, it's time for another Digital Gem. Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome back to Digital Healthcare Solutions, a healthcare network developed to equip, empower, and encourage a thriving digital healthcare nomad community. Today, we're diving deep into the intriguing world of the urinary system. This dynamic system, though often taken for granted, plays a crucial role in maintaining our overall health. So buckle up because by the end of this video you'll have a newfound appreciation for your urinary system and some practical tips to keep it in top shape. Ready to explore? Let's get started. Initially it sounds obvious, but do we really know what the urinary system is? Well, let's talk about it. The urinary system extends far beyond our bladder. Yet, the bladder is typically the first organ that we think of, right? However, the urinary system is really a group of organs responsible for removing waste and excess fluids from the body. It's a highly efficient waste disposal unit, and its importance cannot be overstated. Without this system working correctly, our bodies would quickly become overloaded with harmful substances. The urinary system, commonly referred to as the renal system and often as the excretory system, is composed of several key organs the kidneys, the ureters, the urethra, and yes, the bladder. The kidneys are bean-shaped organs located on either side of the spine, just below the ribcage. They filter blood to produce urine, removing waste and extra fluids. The ureters are thin tubes that carry urine from the kidneys to the bladder. The urethra is the tube that carries urine from the bladder out of the body. And a bladder is a hollow, muscular organ that stores urine until it's ready to be expelled from the body. Each of these organs plays a distinct and essential role in the process of waste elimination. Together, they form a sophisticated network that filters blood, removes waste, and regulates the balance of electrolytes in the body. As a matter of fact, the primary purpose of the urinary system is to maintain the body's internal balance of water and chemicals, commonly known as homeostasis. Homeostasis is vital for ensuring that the body's environment remains stable and conducive to life. This balance is crucial because even slight deviations can disrupt bodily functions and potentially lead to health issues. Let's delve deeper into how the urinary system accomplishes this remarkable feat. To begin, the blood in our bodies must be filtered to remove waste products. And the kidneys are the primary organs responsible for filtering blood. The kidneys play a critical role in removing waste products that are generated from normal metabolic processes. Every day, the kidneys filter about 200 liters of blood, effectively cleansing it multiple times. This filtration process involves several stages. Stage 1. Glomerular filtration. This is when blood enters the kidneys through the renal arteries and flows into tiny filtering units called nephrons. Each nephron contains a glomerulus which is a network of capillaries. The glomerulus allows water, ions, and small molecules to pass through while retaining larger molecules like proteins and blood cells. Stage 2. Tubular reabsorption. As the filtered fluid, called filtrate, passes through the renal tubules, the kidneys reabsorb essential substances such as glucose, amino acids, and certain ions back into the bloodstream. This process ensures that useful substances are not lost in the urine. And Stage 3. Tubular secretion. This is when additional waste products and excess ions are secreted into the tubular fluid from the blood. This step fine-tunes the composition of the urine. And by the time the filtrate reaches the collecting ducts, it is transformed into urine, containing waste products like urea, creatinine, and excess salts, ready to be excreted from the body. Next, regulating blood volume and pressure. The urinary system plays a vital role in regulating blood volume and pressure, which are critical for maintaining cardiovascular health. The kidneys contribute to this regulation through several mechanisms. One, the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. This is when blood pressure drops, the kidneys release an enzyme called renin. Renin initiates a cascade of reactions that produce angiotensin II, a potent vasoconstrictor that narrows blood vessels, increasing blood pressure. Angiotensin II also stimulates the release of aldosterone from the adrenal glands, which prompts the kidneys to reabsorb more sodium and water, increasing blood volume and pressure. Two, the antidiuretic hormone, also known as vasopressin, the antidiuretic hormone is released by the pituitary gland in response to low blood volume or high blood osmolarity. The antidiuretic hormone makes the kidney tubules more permeable to water, allowing more water to be reabsorbed into the bloodstream, thereby increasing blood volume and reducing osmolarity. 
and 3. The atrial natriuretic peptide. When blood volume is too high, the heart's atria release atrial natriuretic peptide, which inhibits sodium reabsorption in the kidneys. This action increases the excretion of sodium and water, reducing blood volume and pressure. Through these hormonal controls, the urinary system ensures that blood pressure and volume remain within a healthy range, preventing conditions such as hypertension and hypotension. Back to the homeostatic balance that is needed to keep the urinary system healthy. Undoubtedly, the levels of electrolytes and metabolites must be maintained and controlled. Okay, Digital Diamonds, we are going a little deeper on this part. Electrolytes, such as sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium, are essential for various physiological functions, including nerve impulse transmission, muscle contraction, and maintaining fluid balance. Therefore, the kidneys must regulate the levels of these electrolytes to ensure they remain within optimal ranges. Example, sodium and potassium balance. Sodium is crucial for maintaining fluid balance and blood pressure, while potassium is vital for muscle and nerve function. Therefore, the kidneys adjust the reabsorption and excretion of these electrolytes based on the body's needs, influenced by hormones like aldosterone. Regarding calcium and phosphate balance, the kidneys help regulate calcium and phosphate levels, which are important for bone health and cellular functions. Parathyroid hormone increases calcium reabsorption and phosphate excretion in the kidneys, maintaining the balance necessary for healthy bones and teeth. And then there is the magnesium balance. Magnesium is involved in over 300 biochemical reactions in the body. The kidneys regulate magnesium levels by adjusting its reabsorption and excretion, ensuring adequate availability for metabolic processes. By controlling the levels of electrolytes and metabolites, the urinary system helps prevent imbalances that could disrupt cellular function and overall health. Lastly, to maintain homeostasis, the body's pH balance must be regulated. The pH level measures how acidic or alkaline the body is, and it needs to be tightly controlled to ensure proper cellular function. And as a reminder, the kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining this acid-base balance. Fun fact! Did the fact that the kidneys filter about 200 liters of blood every day startle you a bit? Well, how about the fact that 200 liters of blood every day is enough to fill a large bathtub? This constant filtration that the kidneys perform is crucial for removing waste products and excess substances from our bloodstream. So, how does the urinary system function, you ask? Well, we are going to tell you. Here's a step-by-step -step overview of how the urinary system functions. First step, blood filtration. Blood enters the kidneys through the renal arteries. The kidneys filter out waste products, excess salts, and water to form urine. Second step, urine formation. In the kidneys, tiny structures called nephrons filter the blood. Each kidney contains about a million nephrons. The filtered substances move through the nephrons and into the renal pelvis. Third step, transports to bladder. The urine then travels from the kidneys through the ureters to the bladder. Fourth step is storage. The bladder stores urine until it reaches a certain volume, signaling the brain that it's time to urinate. And the fifth step is excretion. When you're ready to urinate, the bladder muscles contract and urine is expelled from the body through the urethra. By now you are possibly thinking, how did the urinary system get so complicated? Well, with every system comes new revelations. So what are some diseases and conditions commonly associated with the urinary system? Well, because you are a digital diamond, you know that knowledge is power. You know that preventing a disease is better than fighting a disease. Thereby, the knowledge of how the urinary system works can help you prevent infections and other conditions. You also know that maintaining health is easier than rebuilding your health. A healthy urinary system is essential for filtering out toxins and maintaining overall bodily health. And early detection for changing the trajectory of your life. Just understanding the signs of urinary problems can lead to early detection and treatment and improving outcomes. With that, here are some diseases and conditions commonly associated with the urinary system. Urinary tract infections. These are infections that can occur in any part of the urinary system, but they most often affect the bladder and urethra. Kidney stones. These are hard deposits of minerals and salts that form inside the kidneys. Chronic kidney disease. A condition characterized by the gradual loss of kidney function over time. Incontinence. This is the inability to control the release of urine. Bladder cancer. A type of cancer that begins in the cells of the bladder. And, Interstitial cystitis, 
a chronic condition causing bladder pressure, bladder pain, and sometimes pelvic pain. But here is the good to great news. Not only is knowledge power, but good nutrition is a superpower. Maintaining a healthy urinary system can be significantly influenced by diet. So here are 10 foods that can help support and build a healthy urinary system. Cranberries, known for preventing UTIs by preventing bacteria from sticking to the urinary tract walls. Blueberries, rich in antioxidants, which can help protect the kidneys from damage. Watermelon, helps increase urine flow and supports the kidneys. Apples, high in fiber and anti-inflammatory properties, apples are beneficial for kidney health. Garlic has diuretic properties that can help eliminate toxins. Spinach, rich in vitamins and minerals that support kidney function. Bell peppers, high in vitamin C, which is good for kidney health. Cauliflower, a kidney-friendly vegetable that's low in potassium and rich in nutrients. Fish, particularly salmon, which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids that reduce inflammation. Lemons, help increase citrate levels in urine, which can prevent kidney stones. But let's not forget the foods to avoid for a healthy urinary system. So, just as there are foods that support the urinary system, there are also foods that might harm or not be as supportive, like the following. Caffeine. Reminder, as it relates to the urine system, caffeine can irritate the bladder while acting as a diuretic. Alcohol. Alcohol can lead to dehydration and kidney damage over time. Artificial sweeteners. With a global market of over $7 billion, we are collectively consuming a lot of artificial sweeteners that may cause bladder irritation. Artificial sweeteners are most notably contained in foods like frozen desserts, yogurt, candies, baked goods, and chewing gum. Just to name a few, salty foods. Elevated salt intake can elevate blood pressure and further burden the kidneys. Spicy foods, with the rise in popularity of hot and spicy foods, the rise of irritated bladders are right around the corner. Red meat, high in protein, but hard on the kidneys. Dairy products. Many people only think that dairy products cause lactose intolerance. However, dairy products can cause inflammation and increase the risk of kidney stones and a host of so many other complications. Chocolate. The darker the chocolate, the higher the caffeine. The greater the amount of caffeine, the greater the risk for an irritate the bladder. Citrus juices. Although lemons are good, other citrus juices can be too acidic and irritate the urinary tract. Processed foods, often high in salt and unhealthy fats, processed foods can stress the kidneys. Lastly, let's review how rest and hydration impact the urinary system. Yes, digital diamonds. We work smarter than harder, but our bodies still require plenty of rest and even more of water. Rest and proper hydration play critical roles in maintaining a healthy urinary system. Drinking plenty of water is essential for flushing out toxins and preventing kidney stones and UTIs. Let's collectively aim for at least 8 glasses of water a day, and more if we are active or if we live in hot climates. And let's commit to more rest. Let's say it again. More rest. Proper sleep allows the body to repair and maintain all its systems, including the urinary system. During sleep, the body can effectively filter and process waste. Let's all aim for at least 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep per night. This means everything is powered down and powered off. Well, until next time, and as always, we hope and trust this information will be used and shared as a valuable tool as you strive to be a digital diamond. But no matter what you do, remember, because you strive to be a digital diamond, you read everything, your knowledge is broad and expansive, you attract success, and you create the life that you want to live. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel and being part of the digital healthcare nomad community. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. Your support helps us create more great videos for you.